Hello everybody. I hope you're doing well. I hope that your family, your friends, everybody around you is doing well and you're keeping safe. Welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today's message is from 1 Peter chapter 5 from verses 6 to 7. Let's hear the reading of God's word. Humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, the Bible says we should humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God so that he may exalt us in due course. And while we do that, we should cast all our anxiety on him because he cares for us so what does it mean to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of god well the word humble or humility comes from the latin word humilus which means low to make yourself low so you may be wondering or asking how do we go about humbling ourselves before god well it tells us in the reading It says, humble yourself before the mighty hand of God, so he may exhort you. Then you cast all your care. So how you humble yourself is that you recognize that you are not able to deal with the problem or the issue that you are handling. You recognize that that issue that you have in your family, you are not able to handle it. You recognize that the problem is above your thinking and wisdom. Therefore, you cast that problem or you cast that care or anxiety before God. And I can assure you that once you hand that issue to God, God will give you peace that surpasses all understanding. God will begin to give you witty inventions. God will begin to give you wisdom and ideas on how you can solve that particular problem or challenges that you are facing. So, Humbling ourselves here in this reading means that we cast all our anxieties, everything we are worried about, everything we are concerned about, everything that gives us sleepless night. The Bible says you cast all your care to God. God will begin to give you peace because at the minute you are struggling, my friend. And God is saying, cast those anxiety on him. And he will care for you. He will begin to give you ways in which you will be able to deal with that particular circumstances that you are going through. My dear friends, cast all your anxiety on God. Cast all your worries on God. Cast all your problems on God. Cast everything that you will wish to have on God. Cast that issue that you are dealing with on God. Because God cares for you. And because he cares for you, he will give you wisdom, ideas. He will give you some knowledge and insight on how to deal with that particular situation. And because God cares for you, everything will work together for good in your life. That circumstances that you are facing, that seems impossible. Once you begin to cast your anxiety on God, all those things will begin to work together for good. In your life and you will begin to experience the peace of God the love of God the grace of God and the mercy of God so let me pray for you as we get through this difficult time let me pray that God will be on your side let's pray Heavenly Father I thank you this day for your word I thank you for reminding us that we should humble ourselves under your mighty hand and that you will exalt us in due course And that every anxiety that we have, we should cast it on you because you care for us. So, Father, I pray for everybody who is watching me today. Everything that seems impossible in their lives, every troubling circumstances in their life, every circumstance that seems impossible, I pray that you turn that hopeless situation around. And I pray that you begin to give them peace, give them your love. Give them your understanding. May your grace be abound on everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. 
My dear friend, I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>